you know, I don't exactly like vlogging a, a graveyard with so many pointless deaths. Yeah, very inhuman both world wars were, but it's, it's, these people... There's just so many of them and it's kind of overwhelming. <laughs> because I don't want to dwell on it too much but last year when uh, the humanities trip group got to go to Belgium and we got to go to Meningate and to a couple of grave sites it was the first in time that I really felt the sort of depth of war and you can see in the video that I, I'm genuinely speechless and that's not something that's ever happened and it really breaks my heart thinking about the war now and I really really get emotional thinking about it now to just see those sort of those stones some of them were you know there's the no name soldier some of these kids were my age and or younger you know the 17 18 19 and they had been ranked up because people were just dying above them you know colonels and captains and generals and they were like these 18 year olds who are leading packs and then they were gone and it's really heartbreaking to sort of think about it now. But Anzac Day is now one of those days that I truly take to heart. And it's not because I know somebody or because I, oh, I've experienced it. Oh, I feel what it means. But it's something that I believe is a day that needs to be cherished. And the term least we forget is definitely something that I, I, I take to heart now. So um, stay safe out there, people. And uh, least we forget.